I'm pretty pleased. My Mini D model is as far as I'm going to take it. I have uh, pretty much figured out proportions, what I like about it, and um, where I will make changes. The hatch, for instance, I have planned to put it off to the side so it equals a, a serving tray when it's, uh, when it's up, and the pop top will be slightly different, but doesn't matter, this uh, gives you an idea. Um, it also has a nice drop down door here. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. There we go. That will allow um, easier boarding. Um, the trimming is roughly what I picture it to be. And I plan to put like a, a helm seat on the back corner here so that it can be um, run, by, the motor can be run by a tiller. I threw that together with just old crap, as you can tell. A little flower box I thought was kind of cool and a, a throw ring on the back from one of the cutouts of the windows. Um, and I may also do like with Osprey uh, um, an extended uh, bottom uh, um, plate to have it as a permanent way to board. Um, so that's something I may do as well. At any rate, I'm pretty pleased. The interior will have a head I'll likely be removing this cross member because my idea is that when the pop top goes up, uh, you will have full standing headroom in the um, in the uh, bathroom as well. The actual roof framing won't quite be like this, but um, gives you an idea anyways. At any rate, um, yeah, and it has a full length, almost seven foot berth here, as well as here. And then this, I plan to have it sliding out. I will be arranging a helm seat. I have an idea. I have to figure out if it works out. And underneath there will be a, a cooler um, store, well, cooler storage, and and some other items as well, water and and gray tank and all that kind of thing. And yeah, so oh, the door. I've I had the door opening, but to put the trim on, I I just basically sealed it right up. So I traced it to give you an idea where the door would be and. Uh, yeah, so she's looking pretty good, I think. So now I just need to get organized and, and uh, for the full build. I'm excited to get a start on it. So walk around. If you want to see more interior shots, uh, uh, the previous video showed, uh, showed Woody there. <laughs> I sketched a little face on Woody. <laughs> um, at any rate, it shows Woody laying down, sitting up, and, and so forth. Helm seat on the back corner for running the motor from with the tiller and also interior steering and controls is what I'm hoping. So the full walk around. Yeah, I'm very pleased. I'm excited. Uh, I think this design is really cool. It maximizes uh, comfort. So... This could be a very practical camper on the road and a very practical uh, boat on the water. I think you'll be surprised. Uh, my experience with my friends' box boats and with my Deanne's Rose, uh, these guys can actually handle, because it bobs between swells um, at only uh, 13 foot 6, it can handle uh, waves better than people give it credit for. So this is not a boat that will stop you from going at least, uh, you know, with good judgment, at least out um, out across um, points or, or you know, um, pick your weather, but um, you can handle some swells and some waves. This this is just the first process, so. So yeah, uh, get, do me a favor, folks, and you like this idea, please share it as, as uh, uh, share, like and share. And, and the reason I say that more is, um, it, it's, in my opinion, such a cool idea. I wouldn't mind that uh, it's out there and so people see information on the boat as it progresses and whatnot. Okay, I will be doing a float test somewhat soon. There's some warm weather coming. I know a spot where there's some open water, but it's freezing. My hands are already cold here, so I'm not... How are your hands, Woody? <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have given him gloves, right? At any rate, uh, so I'll get it out um, next week. Supposed to be like eight degrees and lots of rain and stuff. So for all I know, 
the pond will be all wet and, and I can do a float test on that. I'm just really loving looking at it. Uh, it's been a really educational uh, process. And, uh, oh, uh, what I've tried to do is make this arc dial in with the portal. I'm very pleased, very pleased. And you can see Woody can look over top of the boat and out to the side. So it's actually not a bad idea, just even if you just throw, skip the helm station inside and just throw, um, throw uh, an outboard on the transom and, and then it's easy to take off and put on, depending if you're using it as a camper or no. Um, but I tend to like, I tend to like to be, have the option at least of going inside if it's, uh, if it's going to be rainy and whatnot, right? So that's what my thinking is. So that's why I'll do an indoor in interior helm as well. But it'll be it'll be very subdued. You'll barely barely see it. So I was going to do a removable steering wheel forward, but you're off center, you're forward. It's it's likely not going to help the balance of such a small boat. So I have other ideas on that. And I forgot to put a name on her. So I quick threw that on there with marker. Uh, when plans are ready, uh, they will be available to my website, roydesignmat.com.